What was it? What was it that you saw? We haven't determined that yet, but anybody that would, yeah. you know, like. But you know it wasn't a Bigfoot. No, he don't. He don't use a razor. You can look at him and tell that. Darnell, you know I came home to bust a story out on Bigfoot. I respect you. I've known you all my life, and I know you got a story to tell. And I want to let my my readers know what it is. What What is your Bigfoot opinion and why? Well, I do, DJ, and um, what it is. Miss Romaine up here lost her chickens. About three weeks ago, I lost four of my best coon dogs. Four. Four of them. High dollar dogs, too. Went out that morning. I heard something about nine out there in the bushes and went out next morning. All four of my dogs was gone. Dead. Slaughtered. Was it like a coyote kill or what? No, no, it wasn't no coyote kill. It was, uh, I guess, a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot, I guess is what people would call it, I guess. Heard it. It's, it's just awful sound out there that night. I thought it was a big cat that got it. Cat wouldn't do that. Right. It's a terrible situation. I called your daddy. Your daddy's a sheriff down there, and I told him, I said, something's up here killing my dogs and killing Miss Romaine's chickens, and something got to be done about it up here. Yes, sir. Well, ain't nothing been done so far about it, and I don't know what we're going to do. People scared. Scared to go outside. It's getting bad around here, and it's for real.